In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this black mould from your shower room or ensuite or bathroom. It's very unsightly, it's not good for your health, it can cause breathing problems. We need to sort it out right now. <laughs> What's up guys, JB here and today we're sorting out this ceiling. Now it's that time of year where we can't really have the windows open to create more circulation. We do have an extractor fan in the ceiling here but it's just not enough. When it's cold outside and it's warm inside with high moisture levels this black mould is inevitable. So uh, what we're going to do is clean it up, sort it out, treat it and I'm going to show you exactly how right now. So stay tuned. So here's a closer look at the ceiling. Now, in my opinion, this isn't as bad as some ceilings that I have seen, but nonetheless, it's still not very nice and we need to sort it out. A lot of moisture in the air that can't escape can lead to all sorts of problems, particularly here around this Velux window where you can see the paint has starting to lift all the sealant has come away from the wall and that's all because of this moisture in the air and uh, we're starting to get a bit of mould on the top of this window too. We can see here at the bottom of the shower as well around the shower tray that the wall paint really is taking a battering. And on the other side here, so these are all things that really do need addressing. Now this ensuite really is in need of some TLC and some decorating, so uh, let's crack on. Well for the purpose of this video, we are just going to focus on this ceiling here and go through the steps of cleaning it up and treating it. Uh, I'll give you a bit of an idea of what I'm going to be doing with the other areas that are in need of some... Uh, repair and decoration, but uh, this video is mostly to do with sorting this out. Now if you're doing a job like this, make sure you've got yourself some decent PPE. The first thing I'd recommend is a pair of goggles, and just like this pair, it will seal around the majority of your eyes here. Um, it's going to be a lot better than just a, a standard pair which kind of look the same as glasses. You really don't want that black mould getting around your eyes, that's for sure. And then the other thing is a face mask. Now, this isn't the best face mask, I must admit, um, but it was one that I just had hanging around in the van, so uh, we're going to use this because, again, we don't want to be breathing in any of that dust, particularly once we start scraping it from the top of the ceiling. Here are some of the products I'm going to be using today to sort this mould up and the first thing is this dry zone mould remover. So this is going to be initially to clean up the mould. Then we've got some standard PVA and that's going to help to seal the ceiling and then we're going to finish it off with this Dulux bathroom paint. Now I will put some links down below um, for all these products and also for the PPE. So the reason I've gone for this Dulux bathroom paint is because it's got five years paint mould protection, it's moisture resistant and also steam resistant and that's exactly what you want when you're uh, painting in a bathroom I guess. Now the first thing to do is just to scrape the ceiling, try and get any loose material off Got my gloves, got my PPE, let's do it. Around the edges the sealant has started to fail so I might have to do something about that. Some of the paintwork is quite flaky. Well, I've got most of the flaky stuff off. 
and uh, it's not looking great but I think what we're going to have to do is clean it up, seal it and then address any issues after that. Now I'm just about to use this dry zone mould remover and read in the instructions you are meant to spray it on and leave it for an hour so I guess that will give me time to go and make myself a cup of tea or uh, I suppose do some other bits and pieces in here. Now the benefits of this, it kills mould, well that's what we want, fast acting non-abrasive cleaning, that's good, long lasting and biodegradable formulation, so that's always good because it's good for the environment. It's, uh, it is water based as well so I'm hoping to get some good results from this. Now this is a non-bleach formula but nevertheless I'm, uh, I'm definitely sticking this lot on while I spray this. There, that'll do. Let's leave that for a while. Well it has been an hour since I sprayed the mould remover on the ceiling and as you can see it is still black. Now I'm guessing that's because this is not a bleach based mould remover and normally with that just by the bleach itself would actually bleach the mould. I'm guessing we've really got to uh, wipe this off. Well actually the instructions do say to, to rub off with a damp cloth so uh, let's get PPE'd up and uh, let's see what happens. Now there's no vapour to breathe in here, all I'm using is a damp sponge and perhaps a little bit of a scourer so definitely keeping these on but I'm not too worried about a mask here but you know for your own protection maybe put one on. Well that is starting to come off, I am taking some of the paintwork off but that's okay because I'm going to be resealing and repainting. Well we can definitely see an improvement after using the mould cleaner, the mould itself has gone but we are just left with this slightly stained ceiling. Well the next thing to do is to get some PVA mixed up, we're going to get that ceiling sealed before we put some other paint on it. Now I am thinking about putting some stain block on there now so I'm adding to the process but it can only be good. Whilst I'm doing the PVA though I am just going to focus on this part here because a lot of the paint came off and it's quite powdery um, and I don't just want to paint straight on top of that so that definitely needs sealing and I might just put a little bit of plaster skim in there as well. As far as the bottom of the shower goes I have cleaned this up a bit as well, taken the old sealant out and given the walls a clean up so I'm definitely going to be sealing those at the same time as well. So I'm going to mix this PVA with some water and this is basically just wood glue but when you mix it with water and you make it a bit runnier it acts as a really really good sealant so a uh, couple of coats of this and it's going to be you know nothing's coming through that ceiling so there we go we'll just give it a, a mix up just try and get all the lumps out of it 
doesn't take too long before it all becomes quite runny and mixes in. So there we go, a well mixed PVA and water solution. Perfect. Just be a little bit careful because it is quite runny when you uh, mix this stuff up. You don't want to be getting it everywhere. And so we'll apply the first coat over the ceiling and I do try and cover quite a large area. Even where it isn't mouldy is always going to be good to go over, at least it gives it extra protection. It's quite runny though, you've just got to mind your brush that the, the PVA doesn't just drip everywhere. And I've pretty much covered the area that I want to, which is all the molded section and just to this top part, this top rail of the shower. Um, so we're gonna leave that for a while. We'll come back, we'll give it a second coat. Now that feels dry to the touch. So here goes the second coat. Well here's a little tip for you, if you're doing any painting and you've got a little stain that just keeps coming through, grab yourself a little bit of PVA on your thumb, on your finger, just smear it over the stain, make sure it's not thick and blobby, let it go off, let it dry and uh, do you know what? The stain is gone. Well we've got two coats of PVA on the ceiling now and it is properly sealed feels nice and smooth and shiny, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it as well. Now I have decided to put a little bit of stain block on the ceiling just for the reason being is that there are a few patches where there is no paint where it's completely come off and it's plaster and some of the black mould really has stained the ceiling. Now I'm not going to apply stain block because I want to cover up the stain. I can assure you the PVA has done that, but what I want to use the stain block for is more of an undercoat. Now I'm using this Zinsa Bullseye 123. I have already done a video on this and uh, it's pretty good stuff. Now the reason I feel happy about using this on the ceiling, although it's only going to be a thin coat, is that it is all purpose. It is interior and exterior, so I can't see any reason why this would not be suitable for in here. So I've just applied one coat, a very thin coat of stain block onto the ceiling here and you can definitely notice the difference it's made already. You can just see those couple of marks um, on the ceiling there where some of the paint came off and that's what I really wanted to do, just give it a, a bit of an undercoat. But you can certainly tell now what a difference that has made. Well in this ensuite, as far as the ceiling goes, all that's left to do is to apply two coats of paint. But just to give you a bit of an update on the other bits and pieces that are happening, I've cleaned all the wall up here and that's been sealed as well. I've just applied a little bit of stain block on that section and the same over here so that's all been cleaned up and sealed and also stain block applied. Here's how the Velux window is looking so it is a lot cleaner um, I've taken a fair bit of paint off whilst cleaning it up as you can see on the edges there and particularly down the bottom here I think I'm gonna to have to put a little bit of plaster skim on this because it's taken away a little bit of the plaster as well and if I just paint over the top it will look a bit bumpy so uh, a bit of plaster skim and uh, it should be looking good. The stain block has now dried so uh, we're ready to put the first coat on. And uh, We'll just start off by cutting in around the edges that's always the first thing to do Now 
And then we're going to use this small but thick roller to uh, go over the rest of the area. I think you'll agree just after that first coat it's looking pretty good we're going to leave that to dry for a bit and then we'll get the next coat on first coat dry here we go second coat And there we go, second coat on and sealing finished. Check that out, lovely job. It is supposed to be guaranteed mould free for five years. I put two coats on, two coats of PVA, one coat of stain block. So there you go guys, that's how you get rid of black mould from your ceiling. Clean it, seal it, paint it, job done. Well, if you've got any questions or comments about this job and about how to get rid of black mould, then please leave me a message in the comments box below and I will do my best to get back to you. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and educational and it's going to help you to sort your ceiling out. Let me know how you get on. Now, if you like the content of my channel and my videos, then don't forget to subscribe. That will be fantastic. Click here for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon, guys. I'm out of here.